All right, I wanted to give you a new fresh look and the CZ Scorpion before I shoot it again. I just got it back from Cerakote over at Mod 1 Firearms. Pike over there, tearing all the, the receiver, trigger group, um, heat shield and handguard to a SIG dark gray color, which accents really nicely with the black and the red aluminum parts from HB Industries. So basically let's just go one end to the other. We'll, we'll start with the, the easy end here. This is the SP Tactical brace that came with the gun. Um, it's branded CZ, but it's a SP Tactical brace. I changed the hinge mechanism to an HB Industries hinge. Uh, it's a really nice, tight, well-engineered part, so it just fits nicer. I, I actually got it to go to an SBR stock, and I'm just, I waffle back and forth on whether I'm going to do SBR or not. So right now it's got the brace on it, so I don't have to worry about anything. Um, on the back here is a Yeti Works grip. I like this grip. I've tried them all, the Magpul, the Apex, and the Yeti Works. I like the Yeti Works because it has a uh, changeable back strap. I like the texture on it. Everything's pretty good about it. Uh, I have a HB Industries um, AK safety lever. I like this safety lever a lot. It lets me, when it's in safe, when you go to do your trigger finger, you can really feel that it's... Uh, being blocked and you know there's a real tactile feedback there i've got an hb industries trigger uh, when they're red anodized this is their uh, forward offset trigger which kind of gives you a little more leverage on the trigger making it feel different i also have a spring kit in there from them and the hbi um, duck bill mag release this is the aluminum red anodized mag release like it a lot I'm sporting, this one's got a 35 round mag, pull mag, but I also have the uh, CZ mags. If you have the translucently, uh, translucent magazines from CZ, I'd get rid of those while you got them. They seem to crack the feed lips. They don't seem as sturdy as the windowed mag like that or the mag, pull mag like this. So just an FYI. I'm running the factory CZ iron sights. I ran a dot on this for a long time. I'm gonna try it with this iron sights first now that I've reassembled it. If I really miss the dot, I'll put the dot back on, but I like the look of it without the dot on there. I think it looks a lot cleaner, um, but we'll see. Moving up front here, this is this whole setup here is basically the innovative arms internally or integrally suppressed Scorpion setup. And what it is, is they do a short barrel radially ported and then this suppressor with a blast chamber that goes around the ported part of the barrel. It's got a, the, you, you do the nut up here to tighten it all down. And then it's got a bunch of baffles that are numbered, so pretty easy to put back together. And then it is held together, or well, sorry, shrouded with a HB Industries handguard. It's the same handguards they use, but it, it fits the, the profile just, just about perfect there. I mean, you can't get much tighter than that. Um, one issue with it when I first got it was, I mean, it transferred a lot of heat into the handguard because it's so close and this, the aluminum just sucked up the heat. But that's when Innovative Arms came out with this heat shield that integrates into the charging handle track. And then it uses a stud to go in the amlock slots. And it's got a little uh, isolating washer there that keeps it air gapped. So there's a, there's a full air gap running around this whole thing and it keeps it so cool it is unreal it's it's really really nice um you can you can shoot this thing uh mag dumps and the the heat does not transfer to your hand before it made it pretty uncomfortable to shoot but now with the new hand, uh, hand guard on there or the isolator it's really really good uh, i also included a hb industries extended uh, plastic charging handle went with the plastic so it doesn't gall against the aluminum rail but it's extended and gives me a little more easy reach like that a lot and then on this side it is the factory um, safety lever just the other side has been changed so that is my scorpion and let's see how it works okay now that we did the overview let's uh, throw a few rounds down range and see what happens this is the first time using this mag pull mag so let's see what it does
I'm at like just under 50 yards, so I'll shoot a couple on the berm just so you don't have to hear the seal flapping. One thing that's kind of cool about this uh, CZ factory rear sight is it has four apertures in it. So there's a really small aperture and you just roll it forward to get progressively bigger until you got the biggest hoop there. So kind of neat, fully adjustable windage and elevation in the front, just like a standard AR. These are not standard AR height sights. If you notice, they're really low. Um, that's just one thing to be aware of. Um, so for me, it's fine. I like to get a little bit of a tighter cheek weld than a lot of people. I know a lot of guys are using tall mounts on these but I prefer to have the nice low size. There's 35 rounds of the T-Mag. And then one of these mags, I don't know what ammo's in it. This other stuff has been the uh, 124 grain. The nice thing about this suppressor with its ported barrel is it's pretty much quiet with just about anything obviously the higher the grain the quieter it gets it's really quiet with that um, 158 grain ammo but uh, 124 is cheaper and it's just as quiet so totally hearing safe no pain no wincing no nothing um, so that's good One more here so normally in a situation like this the um, the handguard would just be screaming hot because we were just shot what 65 rounds almost and uh, it's warm I can feel it it's it's definitely warmer than the receiver but I can totally hold it no problem uh, not not an issue so Tell it's smoking. It's it's warm. There's no doubt about that. But you can see the smoke pouring out of the the muzzle there. It's warm, but not hot. The Innovative Arms heat shield, coupled with the HBI uh, handguard, and this Innovative Arms integrally suppressed setup on this gun is amazing. If you want any of these parts, take a look at the video description below. There'll be links to all of these things. And um, I can't stress how good of a Cerakoter Pike Spragans over at Mod 1 Firearms is. Uh, if you need anything done, he does all of the Cerakote. So give him a shout. There's a link in the description.